Hey everybody, welcome back to a new episode of Horror Chicken. Uh, as you can see here, we're doing something a little bit different today, playing Left 4 Dead. Uh, this is obviously Valve's little uh, co-op, four-player zombie shooter uh, series, and this is the first game. Um, it may not necessarily seem like a scary game, because of the sort of general uh, focus on multiplayer co-op with uh, other human beings, but we're going to play solo, and I suspect it's going to be um, a bit different that way, especially uh, with AI, who uh, probably isn't going to be the best AI uh, around for this sort of thing. So I remember playing this back on the Xbox 360 when it came out, and sort of being kind of creeped out by it uh, when I played a little bit solo. And just be more frustrated when I play with a friend of mine. Uh, because he ended up ditching me at the very end. Not necessarily uh, intentionally, but sort of I was getting mobbed right at the end and he didn't exactly stop to help. So, uh, yeah. So uh, let's move on to the game itself and get ready to go, as I would like to uh, uh, get a whole campaign in if we can. So uh, let's hop over to the game itself and start playing. Yeah, so I should have this all set up right. Let me just move my audio down a little bit. Okay, so difficulty, I guess we're going to play a normal campaign. Man, they had a lot of stuff, did they? I think these four are the original four. Then they added these two afterwards. I think this one links it to Left 4 Dead 2, I want to say. I forget. Um, yeah, so that... I'm just going to have a couple chapters here. I will play as... I don't know. Just random it. See what, can, see what happens. So I haven't played this version yet. So this is one of the things I picked up uh, in the Steam sale recently. Okay, so we're playing as Lewis. And we got Zoe, Francis, and Bill. Uh, definitely what's really cool about this is the AI director, which essentially attempts to create a sort of dynamic experience every single time you play. Yeah, I remember this. Okay. So let's see. Do I want to get this? There's a red line station not far from here. Good thinking. We got first aid. We got pistol. I'm gonna get the shotgun too. Uh, what else do we have here? Yeah, I mean we can sort of see maybe see some zombies down there. I guess infect. I don't. I don't really care about the supposed differences between the two. I'm in trouble! Ah. Worry, I, got you. I didn't know if I could do that. Oh. All right. So yeah, let's let's get going. Uh, what's really cool is the AI director and sort of the way they uh, sets up all these different experiences. Lewis, look out! Uh, with the special infected. Um, yeah, and sort of the direct, uh... Reloading. 
Yeah, so what do we got around here? Okay, Molotov. I'll here. take that. If you want to collect all the things that you can, right on the right there is all the different categories of items. That sound good at all. Crap, 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 crap. I guess that means the smokers around. This is sort of one of the closets that if a player dies, they would be locked in one of these closets and everybody else would have to come back and find them in. Release them. Man, this is really creepy. Yeah, there's a boomer nearby. So I guess. Ah! So let's move on here. Hunter dead. Alright, reload. It's over here. Not over one of our closets. I guess zombies will come pounding through that door eventually. Grab and peels. I really like the, the UI on this as it sort of uh, highlights things you can pick up nearby, sort of emphasizes uh, your need to collect things when you can. Alright, so I don't think we're supposed to get up here. I think we're supposed to go down here. There's a boomer running around. Uh, show yourself. He's behind us. Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to. Yeah, we did that. still down there, what the hell? So yeah, the AI director sort of reacts. Uh, to how well you're doing to make it harder. Um, make it easier if you're having trouble, all that sort of stuff. There's the outdoors, but we gotta explore a little bit more. Ah, good driving. Just as you'd expect in uh, the apocalypse. Ah, 
Alright, we got him. Yeah, we just killed him. Ah! Alright. Let's reload here. There we go. That's what you want to do with them. Okay, pistols have unlimited ammo. That's good to know. I didn't know that. So we're gonna get second pistol, where's that at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's that? Over here? Uh E. Alright. Awesome. Alright. Uh oh. Ooh, achievement. And this game, like uh, Team Fortress 2, got a lot of support. I guess because I have AI, they're actually helping me out a lot. Oh, nothing there. Uh, let's go. Boomers around. Boom. So yeah, if you don't let them get to you, they are just going to explode like that. What's going on over here? Those two are having way too much fun. Ah! This bunker explodes. We don't need to go in there. Let's go away. So I've been wondering lately if uh, just the capture here and just me talking the entire time is something that helps out a lot with some of these games that are more on the borderline uh, for being scary. Yeah, so I'm not sure exactly which way we're supposed to go. Guess we can go down that way. Thinking it up like that, I'm still. Whoa. That's not a good thing there. Watch out, some cars set off alarms. There it is! Alright. Alright, we reached the safe room here. Lock the damn door! There we go. Reached our first safe house. I got most kills. Because I am awesome. Or not, I don't know. Uh, so we got enough time. We can try and do one more checkpoint uh, to the next safe way. Alright, we're in the subway. What's cool here is there's lots of little thing here. Uh, graffiti and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so I guess we could heal ourselves up. I want to heal up. Uh, there we go. Oh. I can grab one of these again. 
fill in all of my ammo. And you can shoot zombies through the uh, barricades here, so it's not really a big deal. Uh, but there's lots of cool stuff that's written up here. I'm saying, okay, that's overrun. It's always freaking out. And here's like messages people leave. Radio's saying, Fairfield has been quarantined. Entire city is gone. If you can read this, leave. Sarah, Jen is fine. Meet us at Riverside. I believe there's some of these in some of the levels, sort of hints at characters in level, uh, Left 4 Dead 2. Obviously, some stuff like that. Uh, what else is around here? Bathroom, if we gotta go, we gotta go. Uh, vampire time. Alright. What's down here? Oh, hey. That zombie talk? Let's go down. What? Oh. Hey guys. I know there's a party down here. Reloading! Okay, so time to go ahead. As the sequel. The red line will take us to mercy. I was going to take him out with the head. Which one's the red? Red line? Red line? Okay, um. Which way do you want to go? Guessing not that way? No? Alright. We're doing good. The AI is very helpful now. So I guess we'll go up. Watch out guys. They're up there. There he is. Hunter! I got him, that's right. left and right. Um, it's 
Fresno tank sighting yet. That's the witch we don't want to mess with her. Ah, uh, you stupid woman. Oh, great. Yeah, I know that. that's why I shoot him, but these guys let him poop on me. Or uh, vomit on me, I guess. Um, I just want to follow the blood. Even though that isn't exactly the best idea. Where are those guys going? Someone's gonna need these. Now they're just gathering some stuff. Let me reload this gun. So, so far I'm getting... Aw, oh, crap. Tank nearby. We get the gun ready. Where's he at? Where is he at? Is he at? Hear him? He's off in that direction. Oh, he's up above. Ready? Let's just run. There he is, you bastard. Get him, get him, get him, get him. You leave Francis alone. Yes. How bad are you? You should see the other hundred guys. That was just one guy. Francis. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get out of here, get out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Punish ammo. Oh. Ammo here. No, no. Wait. I'm grabbing a hunting rifle. Alright, good for you. Uh exits this way. There is some personality to these characters, but not quite so much. Uh, let's make a move and get out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Exit, exit, exit. 
on the ground. Hey guys, help me. Alright. Alright, let's go. Reloading! Reloading! Yeah, these guys are very mobile, it's something that wasn't a very common thing at the time for this game. Climbing zombies, ah, get in, get in, get in. much scary right now um yeah definitely a very tense sort of thing just man thanks later i know we gotta move but i gotta heal you oh hey thanks ah oh, thanks i owe you a big one um what else we got here yeah, so that's how they wall off, they sort of do that sort of stuff to them. Um, yeah, they grabbed all the good guns, but I got shotgun still pretty good. And just replenish there. Reload, and well... Yeah, this is getting late enough in the video, so I think we don't have enough time for another run. Um, but yeah, this will definitely be something I'll return to just to play through the rest of these. Uh, so we got two chapters done. Uh, hopefully we can get... Oh, what's up here? Nobody's coming to save us. They're going to city get out. Uh, airborne. Yeah, that's good. Heather, ignore the plan. Airport is quarantined. Meet me at mom's. Rick, they can talk. Yeah, we, we saw them talk. Uh, Andrew Hale, Danny and I love you, okay, it's nice, to Helen Lane, Dead and me love you, and we are alright, well, okay, so, uh, that's not good texture, what is that, um, let me get this zombie, it's shot. Zombies just hanging out here. Alright, so uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is Horror Chicken for Friday, so I'll be back on Monday with a uh, another episode of a game that we have pre uh, played previously. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what that game is going to be right now, but uh, definitely I will uh, figure it out over the weekend. Uh, so, uh, you know, thanks for watching this and uh, have a good weekend. I'll see you guys again next time.